Hey guys, BF Viking here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about the melee system in Battlefield 1. It's been drastically changed and improved from previous Battlefield games. So you're wondering, what's new? Well, each melee weapon has a totally different use now. In previous Battlefield games, it was just the looks that differed, so you'd choose one that looks cool and that would be it. But in Battlefield 1, everything has changed from the animations to the property of each knife. So let's start off with the new animations and how things work. In Battlefield 4, you would always go into an animation no matter where you're coming from or how much health they had left. Well, in Battlefield 1, it's all about how much health your target has left and how much damage your chosen weapon deals. If your target has 100 HP and your knife does 50 damage, you are going to have to swipe them once, so now they only have half their health left. On the remaining HP, you're going to go into an animation. So basically, if your weapon does 50 damage, they must be on 50 damage for you to go into that melee animation. This is definitely a big step in the right direction away from Battlefield 4's counter knife system because that was insanely unbalanced as you had one whole second to counter knife somebody when they were knifing you from the front. Now, that was awful of course, but this new way is like Battlefield 3's way, except in BF3 there was no front animation. I really like this new system because it's still very balanced, but it also gives us those awesome animations of clubbing or stabbing people to death. And, and finally, for each direction you come from, there are a variety of different animations, and even better, every single melee weapon has its very own unique set of animations. Thank you, DICE. So now for probably the biggest change to the melee system, and that is that each melee weapon have their own unique properties. They can have 0 to 2 attributes, these range from destroying wood or barbed wire, and also they can do damage to light vehicles. Now, for the light vehicle damaging one, it doesn't work against the armoured car, but only against the vehicles with open tops, such as the motorbike or the planes. Kind of useless since you could just shoot the pilots out of these vehicles, but it's still a pretty cool feature indeed. Breaking wood is a very useful attribute because it allows you to create a small hole through a shutter or something because then if you just destroy the whole shutter or open it, your whole body and your head is exposed. So creating a small hole allows you to get those pinpoint shots without exposing yourself. Breaking barbed wire is quite handy, although you could just jump over, but in most cases it's still pretty cool. I really think that you should be able to dig a small hole with the shovel because, I mean, that's what a shovel is made for, so I don't really know why DICE didn't add that, but hopefully we'll see that in the future through you know, new melee weapons in the DLC, but I'm really liking how DICE did things here. Everything about BF1 seems so fun, except by getting killed by the MP18. So, ladies and gents, there we have it, the new melee system. It's nice how each melee weapon is different, and you actually have to decide what is best for you and your playstyle. You know, in Battlefield 4, it was quite simple. I usually just went with the seal knife or the trench knife on all my classes, because it just looked awesome. But now, I always go with the, the spike club, I think, and the hatchet because they look really cool, but they both have very good attributes. Like, the hatchet can destroy wood, and the hatchet can break barbed wire and do damage to light vehicles. So I absolutely love this new system. Let me know what you guys think of it. I love it. Hope you guys are feeling the same. But anyways, make sure to subscribe for daily Battlefield content, like the video if you enjoyed. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next Battlefield video.